as I said at the very beginning, that one of the important uses of probability theory is in computing the average case running time of algorithms. Of course, you know, for some algorithms, this can get very, very complicated, but let's look at a very simple algorithm, which is linear search. Okay, linear search, again, the input, the input we have is an array. A, let's actually index it from one to N. It has N elements and we have element, uh, let's call it B. And we are saying basically the question here or the, the output is, the output is I, if A I equals B for some I or minus one otherwise. Okay, so if, if B is in the array, return the index. And if B is not in the array, just return minus one. And how does, I, need, I don't need to write the pseudo code here, but how does linear search work? It's just nothing but a simple loop from I equal one to N. And we check if AI equals, uh, equals B, we return I. Otherwise, after the loop finishes, we return minus one. We said that the best case running time is O of one. That's when the element B we are looking for is the very first element in the array. And we saw that worst case is O of N. That's when, for example, the element B is not even in the array. So we end up scanning the entire array before we are able to return minus one. So what is the average case? What about the average case running time? Okay, so how do we do the average case? Now we have to talk about a distribution over all possible inputs, okay? Especially with relation to the, to the input, to the algorithm we are looking at. So I have now to make some assumptions here, okay? So let's assume, for example, assume B is in the array with probability P and B is not in A with probability one minus P of course. And then again, we also let's assume that if B is in the array, then it is in any position in the array with equal probability, with equal probability, okay? So what does that mean? It is in position one with probability P over, over N, it's in position two with probability P over N and so on. So it's in any position with probability P over N. Now we are interested in the running time, okay? So how do we use random variables and expectations to reason about the average case of running time. So let x of, let's say, you know, input i, x of i, be the number of steps that linear search takes on input i. Then what we are really in, uh, on input i, what we are really interested in is the expected value of x, right? Because this is the average case of the number of steps that uh, this algorithm takes over all possible inputs. Now, we have to, I wanna make my life easier. I don't wanna start counting summations and, and, and so on. I will do the following that x equals c some constant times i if b is in the array and it is in the the ith element so if it's the first element the algorithm takes uh, if it's the first element the algorithm takes c steps if it's the second element takes two c steps if it's the third element three c steps and so on and i will say that x equals c times n plus one if b is not in a okay so now I have to compute the probability or the expected value of x, okay? So what's the expected value of x? We have to look at every possible value it takes 
and the probability of that value. So it can take values between one and n, and these val uh, sorry it takes sorry it takes uh, the number of steps it takes are between c one c two c three c four c and so on. So it's i times c, right? And for each one of them, the probability that it takes that value, it's the probability that the probability that it takes i c steps is the probability that the element b is in position i. And we say that the probability that element b is in position i is p over n. So this here is the number of steps when we are talking about b in the array, but that b might not be in the array, and we said for that it takes, sorry, it takes c times n plus 1 steps, and the probability of that is 1 minus p, okay? So this is really the expected value, and if you look at this here, this becomes p divided by n times c. This all have nothing to do with the index i, so this is c times p divided by n the sum of the i's from 1 to n plus this is c times n plus 1 times 1 minus p and this is now c times p times n times n plus 1 over 2 plus let's actually put 2 here and 2 c n plus 1 1 minus p divided by 2 and this n n are gone here so this is c times p times n plus one plus two c times one minus p divided by two and we can take c times n plus one times p plus two one minus p here divided by 2. So if you look at this, I mean, I could simplify it a little bit more. And this becomes here p plus 2 minus 2p. So this 2 minus p divided by 2. So if you look at this here, it is constant c times n plus 1 times 2 minus p, where p would be a constant here because this is not a value that changes. But if you look at 2 minus p, p can be 0, in which case this value is 2, and p can be 1. That's the highest value, in which case this is this is 1. So this is really just a constant. 2 minus p is a constant, and c is a constant, divided by 2 is a constant, times n plus 1. So this is O of n as well. So the average case running time of, of uh, linear search is as well, uh, linear here so it is o of n but again what's more important the o of n is to see how we reason about average case running time of algorithm using ran the notion of random variables and their expected value you will always define x to be the number of steps then you need to reason about what values that takes on different inputs so in this case we said okay what's the value when the when the element is uh, b is in the, the first element in the array when b is the second element and so on for each one of these values you have to determine its probability what's the probability that b is the first element or the second and and so on these usually come from assumptions that we have to make or to know about the input so here i made the assumption that b is in the array with probability p where does that come from Again, this comes usually from an application. So if someone comes and say, I will give you inputs where most likely the B is in my array, I have to assume that P is very, very high, for example, and so on. Okay, So you define X to be the number of steps, then you look at its probability distribution. When we talk about the average case running time, we are talking about the expected value of that random variable.